Well, in just a few hours, we'll learn, we'll learn more about changes that could come to Palm Beach County building regulations after the devastating condo collapse in Surfside. WPTV News Channel 5 Stephanie Suskind joins us live at the Commission Chambers with the discussion happening today, and it's a very important one, Steph. It certainly is. Good morning. You know, that deadly condo collapse in Surfside really has communities all over reevaluating and taking a look at their building codes and rules. And right now, Palm Beach County does not have that 40 year recertification process that Broward County and Miami Dade County both have in place. So today, this will be a part of the discussion for Palm Beach County commissioners during their meeting. The building division will ask for direction from the commission about developing a program to evaluate the safety of certain buildings. Right now, the county has an unsafe building ordinance, which relies on complaints from residents and property owners to report any issues they see. Now, in an email obtained by Contact 5 just days after the Surfside collapse, the county administrator told commissioners she started discussions with staff about a review of rules and regulations and how to best address recertification. Now, coming up in our next hour, Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman takes a closer look at this issue looks at just how many buildings we're talking about in Palm Beach County and what commissioners would like to see. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.